Hey, superstars, it's your bestie Scott, and I'm glad to be back with you again on Marker Doodle Monday. Today's a pretty cool one because we're drawing not one, but two legends in Satchel Page and Josh Gibson from my man Shane at Shoebox Legends. Shane reached out and he asked me to draw either Satchel Page or Josh Gibson. Now, I love Satchel and I love drawing Satchel, but I've been wanting to do a Josh Gibson piece ever since they merged Negro League stats, making him MLB's best hitter. Uh, there's a lot here that I kind of want to stay away from. I have my opinions and we all have our own opinions and I can see both sides of the arguments, but there's no denying that both of these guys were among the best baseball players in the history of the game and both of them should be celebrated. Anyway, Shane and I decided to go with Josh Gibson, and he had told me to do whatever I felt was best. Josh only has one or two playing days cards, I think. He's really not well represented in the sports card world. His most famous card is the 1974 Laughlin Old Time Black Stars card, which, quite frankly, is kind of ugly. Um, don't get me wrong, I love Robert G. Laughlin probably more than Dick Perez, if I'm being honest, but I just don't love those ugly brown on brown cards. I really wanted to do Mr. Gibson some justice here. So I started looking for reference images and I found this great photo of Satch and Josh together. Satch admiring a baseball and Gibson admiring his bat. Just so much love for their tools of the trade and the sport that made them famous. And I knew that's what I needed to draw this week, even if Shane didn't ask me to draw both of them. I think I may need to do a self-portrait one of these days where I'm lovingly admiring my markers like this. Alright, so I tend to steer away from putting two players on a single piece. Earlier this year, I drew Clayton Kershaw and Sandy Koufax playing catch, and I split that up between two pieces. And then I recently drew Ken Griffey Jr. and Stan Musial in two pieces that kind of fit together. I guess I could have done the same with these guys, but it made more sense this time to put them together. So instead of my usual 5x7 size, I went big with an 8x10 so that I would have enough room to fit them both in there and still get the detail that I'd be happy with. Working the size presented some challenges just because I'm not used to it. Uh, you will see later that I tried a few times to really thicken up the black lines enough to fit my vision or whatever. You know, when I shrink this down to trading card size, I still want it to look right, but it's nothing that we can't handle, right? It's always good to push your comfort zone a little bit here and there. It's sales pitch time. Okay, we sold out of our Yaz cards last week, which was very cool, and I thank you guys so much. Um, this one, I think it will sell well. I guess we'll see, but I've decided to up the quantity from 25 to 50 cards. Uh, but let me back up here. If you aren't aware, Shane commissioned this original art, so he gets that. But I'm also making a limited number of custom trading cards with this artwork. So if you'd like to purchase one of those, they're available in my Etsy shop while supplies last, of course, and the link is in the description below. But as I was saying, I am offering 50 of these cards. If you have opinions on that, whether it be, you know, you like how limited and exclusive 25 is, or maybe 25 isn't enough and you missed out on some cards that you really wanted to buy, let me know. Um, I'm learning as I go here and I, I may try to vary the print runs just based on how I think they'll sell, but I, I don't know if that really seems fair. So I'm kind of gathering information for Marker Doodle Monday Series 2 for next year. Almost there, if you couldn't tell, I had a blast with this one. So thanks to Shane for trusting me to do this one. I hope you like it, buddy. And of course, thank you guys for watching. Now go find a better video to watch and we'll see you real soon.